Motorists traveling I-94 found driving impossible. Many called it quits and went to the nearest shelter. Some came here to the Moorhead Ramada Inn. Stranded motorists cannot get a room, but accommodations are being made. Yeah. What we'll try to do is uh, make them comfortable, keep the room warm, uh, try to get blankets and pillows to them if we, whatever we've got left, and uh, generally just try to keep them comfortable. Many of the people just thought it was best to get inside somewhere warm and safe. They called home to relatives. We're up in Fargo right now. We're stranded. We're, I think we're going to be stranded up here. Yeah, it's blowing pretty bad outside, and well, you can't hardly see across the street from where we're at here. Uh, I just, you know, we we might even be stuck up here overnight. I don't know yet for sure. See, is that right? Yeah, here you can't see either. So. And there's the Alexandria hockey team in town for a face-off with Moorhead. They too will stay. Party! 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 Emergency service vehicles were running constantly tonight. Blowing snow and zero visibility made their job difficult. Emergency medical attention is being given to those in multiple accidents. It's, it's mostly been bumps and bruises, that kind of stuff. Uh, cuts on the, on the head from, from breaking the windshield or, or hitting the door jam or something like that. That's mostly what we haven't, we haven't had any real serious injuries happening. Which is good, I guess. Mm -hmm. Local hospitals say patients coming into the emergency room are, for the most part, being treated and released. Kevin Wallen, WDAY News.